Hello, welcome to our Nancy Drew fans. Woman detective in this video, we're diving deep into the latest episode of Nancy Drew Season 4, Episode 12, The Heartbreak of Truth. Get ready for an in-depth review as we unpack the intense moments and revelations that left us all on the edge of our seats. Spoiler alert, detailed analysis ahead. Join us as we break down the emotional roller coaster that this episode takes us on. From unexpected twists to heart-wrenching revelations, the heartbreak of truth truly lived up to its name. We'll discuss the character developments, the impact of the revealed truths, and the connections that are being woven in this thrilling season. As the mysteries unravel, we'll share our thoughts on the direction the series might be heading in and how it all ties back to Nancy's relentless pursuit of the truth. Knowing that Nancy Drew Season 4 Episode 12 represents the show's halfway point is both thrilling and painful. As excited as I am to learn the truth about the Sin Eater mystery and as hopeful as I am to witness Temperance's curse being lifted, it's hard not to feel let down by the several plot lines and character arcs that feel unfinished. Even worse is realizing that our cooperation with the Drew crew is coming to an end. Nobody has even brought up Temperance or her death curse in recent episodes. Although we are aware of what separates Ace and Nancy, it almost seems as though the program has forgotten about it as it has found other methods to irritate our favorite duo. Although the first three episodes of the season were fantastic, Nancy and Ace haven't shared a heartfelt romantic scene since Nancy drew season 4, episode 3. The hat montage was amazing. Later, Nancy acknowledged that it was her favorite kiss ever. But since then, it's just been heartache, and it's frustrating to know that there is only an hour left to make things right. I detest it when people act this way. They are aware of what their audience desires but will withhold it until the very end. But I can't be too harsh on the authors. When they found out it would be the final season, I think they were in the process of writing Nancy Drew season 4. It must have been difficult to bring things together in a pleasant manner. So, we won't know how successful they were until the final episode of Nancy Drew's final season. But let's get into the heartbreak of truth, as there was a lot crammed into it. Finally, we found out which sin Nancy had requested the Sin Eater to purge, and it wasn't really hers. Although I'm not sure if I would even call it a sin, it was Ace's. Ace was put in a predicament that was hopeless. Let Alice die, or let his father die. They couldn't have been saved together. Ace saved the person, as most people would in this situation. Nancy, who could not bear to watch Ace in such anguish due to the survivor's guilt, made the decision to put an end to Ace's misery in the only manner she knew how. She invoked the Sin Eater. It has not been enjoyable to watch Nancy and Ace dispute over the recent installments, and I had hoped that we would have moved past this by now, but alas, no such luck. And to make matters worse, we had to see Nancy and Tristan share another loving moment. We must be hearing about their alleged link for a reason. Nashua informed Nancy that they had already traveled this trail numerous times in Nancy Drew Season 4, Episode 10. What does that imply, and how does it connect to this odd attraction she has for Tristan? The most crucial question is, when will it end? I'll probably hurl something at the screen if this series somehow ends with Nancy being closer to Tristan than Ace. Nick and George made the decision to market the claw elsewhere. Even if it made some sense, it was difficult not to feel depressed about it. George will have the funds she needs from the sale of the claw to support her family while attending school. But the Drew crew at the claw was where this saga started. Knowing the fan family won't possess it any longer only emphasizes how this series is coming to an end. And it appears that Nick and George won't get back together romantically, which is depressing. Nick and George made a wonderful couple. Although I believe that it was too soon for them to get married and that they both needed to mature, I have always yearned for them to get back together. I guess I'll have to accept that's not going to happen with just one episode left. The fact that we haven't seen enough of Nick and Jade or George and Cameron to feel invested in either of those relationships makes the realization all the more difficult to accept. The exceptions are Jade and Cameron. They serve as just emotional placeholders for the audience, which is a terrible way to wrap up Nick and George's story. But who can say? Maybe the ending will catch me off guard, and we'll see Nick and George together in the future. I can dream till the series is formally done. Again, Carson and Ryan stood out, and I wish Nancy's two fathers had been shown more. Carson appeared to be on the same page as Jean as she left to think about her pregnancy. Thank you for watching.